16 times the detail. Ay, Luna. <laughs> you got a family thing? Okay. Well, I appreciate you saying hi regardless. Bye bye. Sixteen times the detail. Sixteen times the detail. Okay. Look at all these characters. We've only done Noelle's both endings and Goro's ending. Okay. I want to do hers. Oh my god, alright, let's start. Oh. We'll start with the top right. <sighs> I may not be for long. Uh, anyway, I'm Layla, a Rital has student at the Academia. Oh, for now, at least. I was just looking up some information at the House of Dana. But the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis lacks integrity. I didn't cover many of the possible outliers, and my calculations aren't precise enough. Being long tortured by her own anxious thoughts, Lila's stress value shows her current mental state. This value will fluctuate as the story progresses. Appraise the situation carefully before making your choice. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now. But who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Oh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Hey, sis. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus and we we're, were trying to focus, romance the the bookworm that can't sleep because she's thinking. she's beautiful. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious Let me know if the audio is all good. I've seen the caliber of the other academic. 
academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they have shoddy look too do look fine. If it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have uh, Oh, everything's good. Everything's great. I don't think going fine, sis. I I have free time. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just stream and do some Genshin shit. Uh, check this out. So on the top right of the screen, there's the stress meter. This girl gets more stressed, and if she gets too stressed, you fail the hangout. And I'm like, oh my god, she's literally us, for real, for real. <laughs> uh, no. All my friends are back home. The, 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 this this, the this hangout's gonna feel too to real. <laughs> 100% relatable. I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. <sighs> Due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. This girl's amazing. <laughs> this girl's fucking incredible. Oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework somehow finished before the deadline, and my papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. Oh my god, the ultimate and simp breaks into her fucking room bad, and then fixes all her stuff for her. Somehow, <laughs> Apparently, apparently, she falls asleep and everything gets done, so I'm guessing the ultimate simp just sneaks into her room when she's passed out, fixes everything, and then lets her live on her life. If that's even possible. That wasn't me! <laughs> well, the sussy pengussy, fucking, you never know. Oh my god, is this girl just literally all of us? <laughs> is this girl just literally all of us? This girl's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis at this rate. I'll need the wisdom Sealy's help. Oh god. Yes, the times of the essence. He should do a just chatting stream. Take what I can get. Oh, sorry. I'm just making excuses. But the wisdom Sealy is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question and you'll get a response a short while later. Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Seely. But getting an answer all comes down to the Seely's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is... Oh, better than doing nothing. Oh my god. Oh, really? But I don't want to take up your time. Sorry for the bother. You're too kind. Baby. <laughs> Let's go give it a try. I've already prepared my question for the Sealy. Oh, I just hope it can help me get through this predicament. Among the countless legends surrounding the House of Dana, 
the wisdom seal is one of the more popular ones lately. It hasn't been around for long, but word of the Seelie's existence spread like wildfire. Many people have claimed that they've received a reply from it. So, it should probably help me as well, right? Baby. I don't know its name, and we have to keep our voices down in the house of Dana. Oh, or else you'll get some scary glares from the Mahamada. Let's split up and ask around about the Sealy. Hopefully, someone knows something more. Excuse me, uh, have you ever heard of the Wisdom Silly? <laughs> You've come to the right person. I came across this legend not too long ago myself. After hearing about it, I decided to test it out and ask it a question. Like, can people just make out or not? <laughs> two days later, I got a response. <laughs> I wish. Detailed and accurate I wish. Unfortunately, the Hangouts don't let you date resources. them. But after the hangouts, you so damn, submitted another question you damn days. feel like dating them. I still haven't received a reply, though. Here you leave! <laughs> that sounds like what others have said. But I don't have the time to wait for a reply if the silly doesn't answer right away. Uh, whatever. Uh, can you please tell me how to submit a question to the wisdom silly? It's quite simple. Go to the bookshelf over there and find either theoretical astrology or a quick reference guide to astrology cases. Oh, How far are you into it? Oh, when you popped in, sis, I had just started this hangout. So this is literally the beginning of this hangout. Okay, so write your question in a letter addressed to the Wisdom Seely, and then insert the letter into one of the books. Come back in a day or two, and if you see a red stamp on your letter, that means the Wisdom Seely has replied. However, if the stamp never appears, then that means the Seelie doesn't want to answer your question. I see. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go write down my question. Hopefully the Seelie replies. Like, if you're talking about, like, how far I am into Genshin, uh, there's no more quests. There's just dailies. Like, I've done all the main stuff. Um, but... I have all these hangouts. Like, okay, here, let me show you, right? These are all hangouts with characters. I've only done two of them on stream. Noel, which has two parts, by the way. So it's actually two hangouts in one. And then Goro, which we did a dog boy. And then all these other characters have hangouts. And we're doing hers, because she's the cutest shawty, and I want, her, I want to know more about her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I know what I like. I ain't afraid. I ain't ashamed. It's good shit. <laughs> we, we we on the Fedora Dan channel. We have good taste here. Okay, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. my question and put it in the book uh wait i guess let's give it some time i'll come back tomorrow to check on it uh, don't worry about me if you have other things to do i see <laughs> thanks i appreciate it all right then let's meet up here tomorrow i really hope this silly replies Time to look at the letter. Please let there be a stamp. Please let there be a stamp. Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. 
The Sealy responded. Fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. My troubles are at oh, an oh. end. Her stress went down by one heart. Okay. Begin to express how grateful I what, what if the answer inside gives her, like, <laughs> stress? Let's see. Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a response, uh, I cannot answer your query due to your Questionable motives? motives? <laughs> uh, questionable motives? <laughs> uh, me? <laughs> Wait. Huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Completing a thesis requires independent thought and work. You planned on using my knowledge to complete your paper's most critical portions. That's not right. However... Considering that your deadline is fast approaching, and that there is substance to the content in the completed sections of your thesis, I've decided to help you nonetheless. Follow the hints I've left, and you will find the answer to your question. Consider the effort you put into thinking and searching as your payment for my knowledge. What the... Oh, she got her stress back. I'm right about everything. Oh, I'm starting to feel guilty now. <laughs> oh, baby. It, but I'm running out of time. Oh, what should I do? What the fuck is this, sis? It's... I don't want shawty anymore. Why not? <laughs> Why not? What's the problem? Tell you're a very kind person, but I never expected that you'd go this way to help me. No longer gonna do things for her. Think of a way to make it wow, sis, sis already giving up on the waifus. Just like that. No bitches. <laughs> okay, let's start by looking at the hint it left us. It should be on the second page. The first clue lies hidden on the road of wisdom. The headstrong child finally sees the world for how big it truly is. Filled with awe, yet- I'm just sit for shy. <laughs> uh, that's it? <laughs> I don't need anyone there else. Isn't a picture or any other marking to go off of. 16 times the detail. Oh my god. What oh. Is the road Oh my gosh, Sleepy would would take over my stream. Have you got anyone you want to call out in the heavyweight division? Oh, you know it, lad. You know it, that bit door then. I'm coming to kill you. In Twitch.tv, in the chat room. Okay. Can we ban Sleepy? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking ends with a hydrate, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Alright. There, I hydrated. You little shit. Mm -hmm. We are sleepy. We're we're playing Genshin with the sleepy waifu. So, is the road of wisdom the road that leads you just woke up? Then? My wife. <laughs> I think I get what it means by the child and awe and fear. When I first left home. <laughs> yeah, sleepy. All this this girl doesn't sleep. She's always sleepy. And she's always lazy. <laughs> Wife material. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow, Jace Addison. Pictures of the city simply don't do it any justice. After seeing the city, a thought popped into my head. Am I really worthy of this place? Two sleepies, yeah, the sleepy waifu and then the sleepy oni. You know, this is, this is how it goes.
Uh, no thanks. Worry, fear, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm. No thanks, don't need anything. If I'm connecting the dots hmm. correctly, then I think I know where the seal is leading us. But how does it know my feelings so well? Uh, you have a point. There's nothing special about my background or experiences. It could be anyone's. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look. find you in Minecraft. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a shogun. The booba blade herself. <laughs> You done? You done, you little shit? <laughs> Why do you think there's a giant cooldown, you little shit? <laughs> it's called a nuke for a reason! <laughs> what did we learn? <laughs> what did we learn, Sleepy? <laughs> That is just keeps redeeming other shit. Just keeps redeeming other shit.
Ever since I was little, I would always carry it with me whenever I'm doing something important. I also had it with me when the academia conducted its selection exam at my village. Oh, oh my god. I my bag at least a dozen times to make sure the talisman was in there. I feel much more at ease knowing that I have it with me. I had thought that it would also help me calm my nerves in Sonora City. But I ended up losing it before I even finished registration at the academia. Yeah, and that's when I started having sleeping problems. Oh, I just began to sleep less and less each day. Losing a talisman like that is definitely a bad omen. <sighs> oh, sorry. I am starting to ramble again. Uh, what were we talking about before? Uh, all right. Why the silly led us here? I think we should look around where the Avidia leopards attacked me. If the silly is trying to make me remember things that happened in the past, it would make the most sense for it to hide clues in memorable locations. Aww, hope the silly's clue wasn't also torn to shreds by a video leopard. Yeah, uh, that's the only way we'll know for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sleepy, have you been seeing the absolutely busted shit? That everyone's been making in Bongo oh, because of the be uh, the crafting bug. The people making their own exotics out of legendaries. It's been absolutely stupid cracked. Oh, sure enough, it's here. And in a really obvious place. Hmm. That pretty much confirms my hunch about the Steely's intentions. You haven't seen? You haven't seen? <clears throat> oh my god, Sleepy. Sleepy, people are making assault rifles shoot shotgun shells. People are making rockets fire as fast as miniguns. <laughs> people are, are making trace rifles shoot grenades. <laughs> Like, it is, it is nutty out there in D2 right now. <laughs> Killing bosses with like three to four shots because of just bugged out weapons. Uh, I don't know, but how did it know about all these details? I've hardly told anyone about this stuff. Uh, uh, it's not hiding somewhere and spying on me, is it? Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, anyway, let's look at the clue we found. Um, seems like you haven't forgotten about your very first failure. Oh, uh, see? It knows everything. Like, sleepy. Sleepy, hang on. Let me show you something. Let me... let me show you something. Alright, Sleepy, check, 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 check our DMs. Look what people are doing with... with Eager Edge. Because they can now can slap times two Eager Edge. Imagine, imagine enhanced eager edge, but times two. Just look at how much speed people are getting out of it. <laughs> Just fucking nutty shit. Aww, I have no idea what's going on. No wonder the silly is becoming legendary. Uh, let's keep reading the clue. Ahem. I've placed the second clue where heaven meets water. The answer, seemingly amongst the stars, was ultimately washed to some unremarkable place downstream. Oh, just as I thought. It's something to do with me again. 
And Bungo did not want to work overtime on the weekend to try and fix it, so they said, fuck it. Trials is gonna have this bug everywhere. It's a lawless wasteland out there. Just go have fun. If the first clue was any indication, then the location described in this yep. clue should also be <clears throat> it's a, to my life experience. It's a wild woolly wasteland right there in D2 right now. If you play PvP, everyone has weapons that one shot you. Everyone has la laser tag is effectively back on the menu right now. People have made new weapons that are as strong as laser tag for PvP. Let's just say there's another devastating and unforgettable failure I had. Oh my God, Layla, please, baby. But that can't be helped, right? We do many things not because we want to, but uh, because we have to. Uh, let's keep moving. It might be hard to believe, but being out and about is making me feel a lot better uh, than usual. Baby. Observation after enrolling at the academia. I borrowed some equipment from the school and came here on a perfectly clear day. This girl is making me yawn. God damn it. I was positive that I'd be able to oh. see great data. Oh my god. The equipment was a little heavy and I didn't notice that the ground was muddy and some spots were unstable. After Do with it what you will. Everything, part of the ground suddenly shifted and my equipment started teetering over. I rushed over to grab hold of it, but I ended up tripping over another piece of equipment. The next thing I knew, everything was covered with muddy water. Oh, me and all my equipment. You must be wondering how someone can be so clumsy. I don't know what I'm looking at, Sleepy. <laughs> she making you sleepy or make out with Sleepy? Wait. <laughs> sleepy, I don't know what I'm looking at over here. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> Are these like results? Results of a little thing you did? What is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this, man? <laughs> APSS slash King Test. <laughs> Alright. 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 So what, you're gonna tell me, hey Dan, do this do, do this quiz too? Do this test too, see what the results are for you? Huh? Uh, you wouldn't be wrong for thinking that. What do you mean? Oh, Will you on stream? So what do you mean on stream? No, I'll do it later, I ain't doing that shit on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing that shit on stream. The more mistakes I make, the harder it is for me. They did? No way. Did they really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow. Uh, I just yeah, no. Not for me, so fam. But I will do it later. Just for the shits and giggles. Oh, to pay off the damages to the equipment, I took some part-time jobs. I just went to work whenever I couldn't sleep. This girl is making me yawn, fuck! To pay off what I owed. Oh, God damn, this girl is making me yawn every time she yawns. Ah, stop it. Bingo. 
<laughs> the pressure from my studies and debt was crushing me, and I didn't want to tell my family about any of it. After all, I am the legendary Layla who made it into the academia at a young age. Oh, and had never failed an assignment in her life. The legendary Layla. <laughs> Considered giving up on my studies completely and returning home to help care for the Sumter Beast, but that would be kind of embarrassing. Uh, I don't mean that I'd be embarrassed in front of others. Uh, I mean that I'd be ashamed of myself. What's sleeping? What's up? After all, everything I've done up till now is only a result of my own decisions. Although, it hasn't always been smooth sailing, and sometimes things don't go my way. I made it this far on my I left my little surprise last night I in the stream title. <laughs> what did you leave? My studies and or even managed to pay off the equipment damages. You I pooped on the floor? <laughs> Most of it is still due to the help of some unknown person rather than my own work. <laughs> and that's exactly why they mustn't ever find out. Once I finally manage to acclimate to life in Sumeru City, I'll show them my success. Oh, I hope that day will come eventually. Anyways... This Let's poor baby is literally just it. us in college. <laughs> uh, it should be around here somewhere. An unremarkable place downstream was the description. What did you do to mod stream? What did you what did you do to mod stream? Do I have to go look now? I have to go look what you did to his stream. All right, hang on. What did you do? Where? What did you do? Where is it? I'm looking. I don't see nothing. Hashtag Sleepy was here. Woo. <laughs> I ain't saying shit. I ain't saying shit. <laughs> I, I'm gonna leave that there. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. <laughs> no, they're 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 taking a little break right now, so when they come back. We'll see if they even notice. <laughs> Here, it's over Sis, there. help me. <laughs> Good thing it's dry. I was worried the message might be wet. Let's see. Have you found it? The unremarkable place downstream. Well... Of course. How else could I be reading this? <laughs> you, you silly. Seriously. Y you, you silly, Billies, I swear. I've placed the third hint at a crossroad without a cross. You can turn left or right, but turning back shouldn't be an option. I, I can't believe you, idiots. <laughs> I cannot believe you, idiots, at all. They're actually getting care for me. <laughs> I was sort of expecting this even before I read the message. I don't know if the clues are following a timeline or if they're based on the amount of regret I have. Either way, this incident was bound to come up sooner or later. Huh. Would someone really go to all this trouble just to pull off some prank? Uh, I can't make heads or tails of it. Anyway, just follow me. I'll save the story 
for when we get there. What the hell? You suck, Sleepy's Gage. <laughs> oh my god. These cochinos, man. They don't chill out in chat. Fucking cochinos, I swear. This is the place that immediately came to mind when the hint mentioned a crossroad. I came here to conduct some astrological observation once. Do people still play Tower of Fantasy, man? <clears throat> like, I thought I was starting to get used to like legit, I thought a lot of people abandoned that game. But just as I was about to set up the observation equipment, I heard I think so. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How sure are you? <laughs> I think Chief's the only one I know that actually still actively plays. I don't know a single other person that does. Definitely wouldn't have been able to escape, and simply handing over their mora might not have been enough to make the bandits go away. Not exactly. I already had a vision by that time. Someone with a vision should technically be really powerful, right? Handling a group of treasure hoarders should be well within my abilities. However, I didn't know how to channel the power of the elements to fight at that time, and I was super scared. Mm -mm. I wielded immense power, but I didn't feel any stronger than just an ordinary person. Then, I ran away. I scrambled towards Sumeru City looking for help. Eventually, I managed to return with a few adventures I ran into along the way. It took longer than I had hoped, and by the time we made it back here, the treasure hoarders and the family were gone. I don't know if the family only lost their belongings in the end, or if something worse happened to them. Oh, I faced a lot of problems after coming to Sumeru City, but this incident is one that I regret the most. I sat on the ground and and began to cry. I oh baby! Oh my family. God! He's at four bars of stress. Differently, if if I were just a little braver. Oh. Thank you for trying to comfort me, but <laughs> I can't stop myself from thinking that way. Dottie's just an it's anxious just mess. <laughs> it, this, is, this is the part where we say, I can fix her! I can fix her! <laughs> However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with the challenge. Nope, not trying to fix that. <laughs> All yours. <laughs> uh, you're right. The more challenging it gets, the harder I should try. <sighs> I'm feeling calmer now. Ah, okay. Let's go look for more leads nearby. We're probably getting close now. Let's search this area. Ah, oh, here it is, just as I thought. The sealy must have placed it here in advance. Let's see. Why food taken? Not for you. This time. Wow, Stop yawning, damn it! Stop making me try to yawn. I'm ready. <laughs> A picture? I uh, guess not. This house You're making me yawn as well? No, she's head. making me yawn. I'm not making you Does yawn. She's really making me want yawn. Us to go there? <laughs> uh, I can't think of any connection I have with Fimara Village, though. I've only been there once and. Domino effect of yawning. Pretty uneventful. 
Whatever the case, the only way we'll know is if we go there. Oh, thanks, but I'm fine. I'm used to pushing my limits. I know how far I can go. Just a moment. Oh, it's you, Layla. How nice of you to stop by again. Uh, huh? Do, do you know me? <laughs> That's no way to greet a friend. Of course I know you. Is this a friend of yours? Or perhaps a classmate? Uh, a friend. We, um, I'm having a little trouble with my thesis and we happened to be passing by. Uh, I don't know either. I don't even know where to begin. I recognized him immediately. He's one of the people that was getting robbed by the treasure hoarders. But he shouldn't know anything about me. He shouldn't even know who I am. Uh, yeah, but that was before the robbery. I was just passing through. Even if he saw me, he would know who I am. He didn't notice me during the robbery. Is something the matter? Uh, I appreciate your kindness, but I really can't remember how we met. Uh, I'm sorry. So you aren't joking? Do you still remember when my family and I were being robbed by a gang of treasure hoarders? Yes, but I don't think I was of much help to you all. How so? You told us everything yourself the last time we met. My family and I were surrounded by treasure hoarders, and I didn't know what to do. But then, we heard people approaching in the distance. Those treasure hoarders were the first to hear them coming, and started to flee the moment they sensed the situation wasn't going their way. They didn't even bother taking anything with them. I wasn't sure what had happened, but the treasure hoarders were scared off. I immediately grabbed my wife and child and got out of there. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, I'm so glad that you and your family were unharmed. I thought it was a party of adventurers that happened to pass by, but later you told me that you had spotted us and ran to find help. You were amazing. You managed to keep a level head even in the midst of danger. So she didn't fuck up. I know you have a vision, so those treasure hoarders wouldn't have been a match for you. But they might have harmed me and my family if their backs were pushed against the wall. Well, so she well, didn't fuck up. Not exactly what wait, what? Wait, wait, where is this going? <laughs> Hmm, it's been some time, but not too long ago. I don't recall exactly when. What's wrong? Nothing's coming to mind? Uh, nope. I'm sorry. I still can't 
seem to remember even after everything you've told me. Do, do you think she's the she's got a split personality that only comes out when she's like falls asleep? Or like gets too like stressed? Gets too, like, stressed? If only we had taken a picture. Oh! You forgot a package here from that visit. You'll definitely remember once you see it. Wait here, I'll go fetch it. Uh, a package? I left a package here? Uh, wait, this is it. What? Oh, the talisman. <laughs> hey, your mom's talisman, look. The talisman that I lost, the one that my mother made for me. Uh, yes, this is definitely it. She made it herself. It's the only one of its kind. Uh, there's also a letter here. Was I planning to send it to someone? Uh, hey, let me guess, the letter's to herself. Is to Layla? <gasps> uh, <laughs> no, I swear I've never done anything like that. Huh. What is going on? Uh, let's open up and see what this is all about. <laughs> she wrote a letter to herself. And, hello, Layla. It must have been quite the endeavor to follow the Sealy's hints. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but how? Reflection is a wonderful quality to possess, but you'll only how the fuck? end up hurting yourself <laughs> hello? if you overdo it. Failure is a stranger to no one. The purpose of self-reflection is not to indulge in the pain of failure, but to succeed in your next attempt. If you drunk a letter to her, herself, you have succeeded in taking <laughs> Jimshin. <laughs> oh, hi, Misa. This letter is the core information that your thesis is lacking. We're, we're, uh, it's actually we're doing Jimshin hangouts. Now. It and, only feels and seeing cute shorties tell us their life story. A concise summary to tie it all together. I hope that this journey has provided insight for your life ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you courage as you carry onward and hope that you fulfill the expectations you hold. Always watching over you. Sincerely, the wisdom silly. Oh. <laughs> I thought. I thought we were going to fail. Oh, hang on. One sec. I thought that. Everything we did and all the time we spent was for nothing. But. The silly wasn't messing with me after all. <laughs> My old man called me, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, let me answer this phone call. <laughs> uh, I, I doubt it. I mean, unless I somehow came here while I was unconscious and don't remember it. Although, having said that, I have heard rumors claiming that... Oh my god, she does sleepwalk! Ah! <laughs> She gets all her shit done when she's asleep. Mean that I'm actually the wisdom silly. It could have oh my god. Me while I was sleepwalking. Uh, I'll write back and ask to meet with the silly and see how it responds. Even though I still have a lot of questions, this experience was fruitful. It no longer needs me, Kiryu, you okay? <laughs> Probably would have quit halfway through. <laughs> Hold up in the academia somewhere. Uh, <laughs> perseverance really does pay off. This whole time, sure Misa, Sis was like, happen. Am I gonna help the shoddy? No, I'm not gonna help the shoddy. Okay, maybe yeah, I'll help her again. No, I'm good. And now she doesn't no longer need him. <laughs> well, then, since you're already here, why don't you stay and have something to eat? You just finished preparing some food. Oh, oh. Uh, sis, sis, don't like you were, don't you, were, you were you were back the and forward the, the lead up <laughs> your troubles until after the meal you must relax and gather your strength so you can take on the challenges ahead am I right all right thank you all uh, I 
can do this. The price to pay and its returns. That's a cute photo. Okay, so we went full top tree, right? Wait, we didn't go full top tree? But I chose the top option every time. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Okay, so let's try and get this other ending right here. <laughs> Centuries. What the fuck? I'm surprised. This is the place that in me I came here, but just they were a group of treasure holders. Not is somewhat, however, I didn't then. Revenge hit the glow. I don't know. Hmm. I could have stepped in to help that family. Hmm. Thank you for trying to comfort me, but I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said. Turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with a challenge. Oh, but, but what about my thesis? Oh, we still haven't found the Steely's answer yet. Oh. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. Alright, I... I uh, actually don't have much stamina. I've been stressed this whole time and I feel exhausted. Oh my god, stop yawning. You're gonna make me yawn again. Sorry. <laughs> Is that an ending? Oh, it's not. Not yet. Oh, okay. What trinkets lie veiled within this desolate plain? I didn't know that <clears throat> I've been yawning so much, didn't know the game had this type of effect. Sleepy game effects. Is this what a doctor recommends people? Yeah, just watch sleepy waifus and you'll immediately fucking... Wait, what the fuck? Oh, okay, it's a little puzzle, got it. I'll do that later. Uh, let's stop here. I don't think I can walk any further. All right, I'm gonna give my legs a rest. I'll be waiting for you here. I feel bad for making you go through so much trouble for me. Oh, if only I were more capable. I'm sorry. Uh, I always find myself having to apologize. Uh, but enough of that. I need to pull myself together. The memories I've been reminded of are all really taxing. <sighs> I cannot just God give damn it. <laughs> She's gonna make me yawn. <laughs> Letting these heavy feelings get the best of me will only slow us down. Uh, watch out! Behind you! Monsters! Oh, I'll head of them too. Why didn't uh, No, I'll fight too. But I want to help. I can't just. I mustn't keep repeating my past regrets. That's 
the most valuable lesson I've learned today. I should take action when I'm needed and give it my all when the moment calls. If you miss those opportunities in life, you may never get another chance to make up for them. Huh. She's gonna make the monsters that's fall asleep. <laughs> all right, let's take them all down. Oh my god, the sleepy wife was gonna make me go to bed. Only if it's right next to her. I'm okay with it. As you wish, main Fräulein. Teamwork is dreamwork. I summon thee. Inazuma shines eternal. with my training uh, it's embarrassing to be out of breath so quickly like this well the only appropriate response would be to say that i'm fine right oh, i'm pale due to lack of sleep not because of the fight but then again i know you'd be able to see right through those words Oh, I'm feeling weak. There's no hiding it. I'm just happy I didn't get in your way during the fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks for the compliment. I sure don't get to hear that often. Oh my god. Although <clears throat> I may I not be physically strong, my will is as resilient as they come. I'll be fine after I rest for a bit. Can you stay with me while I recover my energy? Oh, it shouldn't take long. Once bitten, twice shy. Despite her incredibly weak disposition, Cecile chose to make a stand. Perhaps she wanted to prove a point. Perhaps she didn't want to leave regrets. <clears throat> I created another universe. Okay. Let's try and do uh, this top tree right here. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> How does this route change? Finally. Uh, I'll come back tomorrow. I see. All right, then. Time to look. Uh, there's a red stamp on it. The... Uh, this is wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Oh, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am. Uh, let's take a look at what it wrote. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a, a question. Okay. Yeah, a question. Uh, Whoa, however, okay, these are all the same. Follow the consider what? It's absolutely right, but I'm running out. Oh, good point. <clears throat> Why else would it use such a round 
about way to tell me its answer. Supposedly, everyone who's been pranked by the Celia had angered it in some way. That means the Celia is someone who's very strict and serious about knowledge. Uh, but who knows if it's really a Celia or some person. True. And if I don't get an answer, then I'll only have wasted more time. Oh, but there's nothing else we can do. It's the one holding all the cards. It's completely hidden and can choose whether to help us or not. After all, it'd probably be impossible to find it and ask my question in person. Huh? Uh... I was just kidding. Oh, please don't take me seriously. It's a Sealy we're talking about. According to legend, <laughs> Sealy Sealy. can create countless copies of themselves. Who's to say that it won't summon a shooting star to crush us once we find it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little panicky. Okay, Layla, calm down and think. If the Sealy is a person, then there has to be a way to track them down. We have two possible leads right now. Uh, the first is the checkout logs of those two books, and the other is the red stamp. The red stamp bears the Ritalahist emblem, which is used by a lot of people. Uh, it'll be hard to track down an individual, uh, so we should probably start with the checkout logs. Let's go and make an inquiry. We can also ask around the house of Dana and see if anyone else knows something about the wisdom sealy. Okay, so we might <laughs> find out that it's just her sleepwalking making all this shit? That'd be funny. Yes, of course. I've been looking into it for quite a while now. However, I feel like I'm still missing some key pieces of information. Hey, maybe if we put our heads together, we can figure something out. Uh, sure. I'll try my best. There are a few known traits of the Wisdom Sealy. First, it's extremely strong. It can easily carry a few dozen books, along with four or five pieces of astrology equipment all at once. It's extremely athletic as well. It only moves in a straight line and doesn't stop for anything, not even walls or rivers. Lastly, it has a number of special abilities. It has a hardened metal body that's impervious to injury. It can freeze water into ice, and it can also summon meteors. That doesn't even sound human. Well, it is a legend after all. It's no surprise that some details seem a little exaggerated. But these aren't just made up, you know. Each of its abilities has been confirmed by eyewitnesses. There have been many sightings, too, including a Chatrakan cave, the Avidia forest, and around the waterfall south of Sumeru City. Has anyone oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <it actually looks laughs> like Those are all the places we visited and the other... Kind of what the fuck? <laughs> hmm, not that I know of. No one's been able to get close to it. It seems like it tries to stay out of sight. I would probably want to remain a mystery too, if I were someone as legendary as the Wisdom Sealy. So what do you make of it? Have you seen it somewhere as well? No. We're probably gonna need some time to digest all the, uh, incredible information you've provided. <laughs> Not a problem. But if you manage to find anything, be sure to come and tell me about it. I trust that you'll quickly discover the excitement of slowly unraveling the truth. <laughs> Those are all the places we conveniently went to. I wonder why. Oh, uh, hi there. Uh, have you heard <laughs> of the legend of the wisdom, Silly? <sighs> Do I really look like the kind of student that would be interested in such a pointless legend? Oh. Sorry, we were 
were just curious. Well, I do happen to have some information on it. Huh? Logically, that has nothing to do with the question I asked. I just don't want others to see me as some poor excuse for a student whiling away my time in the house of Dana. Uh, I don't really think bad students would come to the house of Dana to pass the time. Uh, but anyways, you were saying? Well, I spend most of my time here, and I have noticed something odd before. One time, late at night, a black shadow fell from above and landed in the central area of the House of Dana. Of course, I was a little sleepy at the time, but it startled me, and I got up to see what was going on. Uh, and then what happened? Then, the shadow quickly circled behind me with incredible speed. Just as I tried to turn around to get a look at it, I fainted. Yes, it was unbelievably fast. I had never seen anything like it. It was so unusual that I wasn't sure if it was real or if I was half dreaming. But given how popular the legend of the Seely has become lately, maybe this has something to do with it. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but doesn't the House of Dana have a door? It was closed that night. <sighs> I suppose even the House of Dana needs to be closed for maintenance from time to time. I see. That makes sense. But... What were you doing here if the House of Dana was closed? Don't look so surprised. It's a common practice to find a place to hide before they lock the doors, so you can continue reading books here. Everyone knows that. Uh, anyway, thank you for the info. I'll be sure to take note of everything you mentioned. You're welcome. <clears throat> Alrighty then. And who's the last person that knows something? Oh, hello there. Can I help you? Uh, uh hello. I'm a Ritawahu student and would like to see the checkout logs for theoretical astrology and a quick reference guide to astrology cases. Oh, are you also here to investigate the Ritawahist Wisdom Seely legend? Uh, also? Hmm, I suppose it makes sense that we're not the only ones investigating such a popular legend. <sighs> yes, I myself am also quite curious about it. But unfortunately, I haven't found anything out of the ordinary. Given you're a Ritawahist student, I'm sure you know that a lot of research references these two books. All our copies of these particular titles are frequently checked out. I have looked into it, but found no irregularities in the checkout logs. Is there any chance the silly could have taken the books out and returned them without being noticed? Not likely. That would be almost impossible. The House of Dana is extremely strict about the circulation of its books. There will always be a record if a book is checked out. And even if it managed to figure out a way to take the books without leaving any record, it's possible that someone would come looking to borrow the books before the Seely returned them. If someone discovers that a book is missing or that it doesn't match my inventory records, it would come to my attention immediately. However, it might be possible to pull off in the case of a less popular book. Okay, I understand now, thank you. Ah, uh, this is useful to know. With any luck, it'll help us work out the Seely's identity. Okay, everyone's given us a lot of useful information. Let's go through it and try to organize everything. Some things we heard were pretty straightforward, but others were just... Uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, let me think and see what I can make of it. Uh, okay, calm down, Layla. I know the info's all over the place, but you can definitely do it. First, let's try to figure out the Seely's identity based on the clues we currently have. Then, we'll analyze where it's been cited and its motives. Finally, we'll piece everything together. From there, we should be able to predict its movement. <sighs> Alright, let's give it a try. <clears throat> Books are 
circulation is strictly regulated, and there is a log of anyone who checks out a book. The stamp. Hmm. Which probably means they're a Ritalahith. Uh, it once infiltrated the house of Dana while it was closed. Uh, it was. Oh, oops. oops. Hmm. Still bring it. I think I heard somewhere that it has a lot. It's been to the Chatrakam cave. Tayun provided, we can assume that the Sili is a student from the Ritawahis Darshan. The possibility of it being someone outside the Darshan can be ruled out because it'd be impossible to gain access to those two books without going through the librarian. Next, leaving its crazy abilities aside, all the sightings took place in locations that are officially recommended for astrology observation by the Academia. In other words, it's probably just conducting research, and the nature of its research is very similar to mine. The question that I submitted was no simple query, but it was able to give me a reply in just a day. This implies that it's familiar with a similar field of knowledge. So based on this reasoning, all we have to do is wait for it at the next astrological observation site. Uh, uh, it's nothing, really. There are actually some other factors that I've been speculating about. Oh, but that's not important right now. Let's get going. Even though we have a lead, it's still hard to say whether we'll be able to make any discoveries. Uh, I'll tell you what I mean by that if the CLE doesn't show up. to see more from up above, but how do we get up there? Hmm, let's... God damn it, this team can't fight. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, good. At least it was easy as hell. Yeah, this team can't fight. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> this team cannot fight at all. Please. Have mercy. This team cannot fight. They have nobody that can do a level 90 shit. Yeah, then we'll do that you called? Huh. <sighs> 
weather today is perfect for observation. Let's see if it shows up. Honestly, spending an entire night waiting for something that we're not sure is gonna happen might not be the best use of our time. But we don't really have any choice. This is all we've got. Get some sleep if you're tired. I'll be up. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, how about I share some basics about astrology with you? If you're interested, that is. Sure enough, it didn't show up. We hardly saw any animals, let alone people. No matter how conclusive the evidence is or how perfect our reasoning may be, nothing will happen as long as I'm awake. They're probably one and the same. It's like I told you, I have a severe sleeping disorder. And there have been a lot of rumors about me sleepwalking. I tried to understand what I had been doing when I'm unconscious, but uh, I've never been able to get any definitive evidence. Something is actively attempting to cover up all the clues without my knowing. Maybe that something is me. Uh, or maybe it isn't. Uh -huh. I can't be sure. For all I know, I could even be the Sealy. But what if I am? Would the Sealy be willing to help me this time? What is it actually thinking? Uh, I really have no idea. Huh? You want to help me? Of of course, it would be nice to know what's really going on, but that's impossible. It's always avoiding me and keeping me in the dark, and that won't change even if you're around. Be utterly low about it. What's wrong? Yeah. And to think I could have been working on my thesis this whole time. Uh, my stomach is churning just thinking about it. Uh, please stop. The more you talk about it, the more silly I feel. Oh, come on, Layla. What are you doing? Everyone's gonna start thinking you're crazy now. Uh, oh no. I'm losing it. Oh no, she devil triggered. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted there. Where were we? Oh, what's wrong? You look like you've got something on your mind. Holy crap, it's another person. Mm -hmm. It is a <laughs> what are personality. What talking about? What do you <clears throat> mean the other, Layla? Uh, fine. It appears that you were waiting for me to show up. I suppose there's no use in me pretending. I promise I don't mean any harm and I'll answer all your questions. But before that, would you mind telling me who you are first? Let me think. Okay, I got it. You two found this place by following the hints that I left behind. You were planning to wait for me. <laughs> or I should say you were waiting for the Sealy to show up. Was this your idea or hers? I see. Yes, she's always had great analytical skills. It'd be nice if she was more confident, though. <sighs> all right, that's all the questions I have. Your turn, please ask away. Infiltrating the House of Dana was a total accident. She'd forgotten an important book, and the House of Dana happened to be closed at the time. There were only days before the paper was due. I had no choice but to scale the walls with some simple climbing ropes 
friends sneak in from above while the Corps 30 wasn't paying attention. I had no idea there was still a student inside. I had no choice but to put him to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> Any clear evidence of my existence would only hinder my ability to conceal my identity. It would also expose me to Layla as well. As for the special powers, well, they're just things I did during the process of trying to finish the thesis. It's like I said, I don't have much time, so I need to be as efficient as possible. That's right. Though I didn't intend for it to turn out this way, really. I just wanted to help out a few other classmates who were having a hard time while I was helping Layla finish her thesis. You see, Layla doesn't have many friends at the Academia. If the others noticed her helping them out, I thought maybe I'd help her become more sociable. Unfortunately, that didn't really work out. Instead, Legends of the Sealy started going around. <laughs> but that's alright. I can instantly tell which students are asking serious questions and which are just trying to take advantage of me to slack off. My time to move freely is quite limited, so it's only natural that I would punish the people attempting to waste my time. My intention is to help people. I'm not here to cause any harm. Well then, does that answer all your questions? Ah, you see... Her emotions are incredibly unstable. She's constantly doubting herself. If she knew that there's another Layla who is capable of doing everything, she may think even less of herself. She could think, maybe I should just leave it all to her. I'm always relying on her anyway. Why not let her live my life for me? She might start thinking about giving up completely and that's the exact opposite of what I'm trying to do for her. After all, she and I are one and the same. We're two sides of the same coin. No one knows her greatest strength more than I do. It's her resilience. If she's able to persevere in everything she does, then one day she won't need my help anymore. I trust that she's capable of doing that. And it's something that she should do on her own. She actually discovered the key data she needs for her thesis a long time ago. She just didn't organize it well enough. I'll complete her thesis for her just as I have in the past. Oh, please don't share any of this with her. I would like to keep this a thank you oh for my doing God. this for me. <laughs> for this us. is wild. <sighs> she seems to be waking up now. Well... This is goodbye. If we never meet again, then I guess I did something right. <laughs> uh, huh? Did I? Oh, I see. Was I sleepwalking? Uh, really? I don't believe you. You're hiding something from me. It's written <laughs> all over your face. No, I swear. You said you were gonna help me, didn't you? Why are you holding out on me now? Please tell me. Hmm, you promised you'd help. Oh, baby, please. <laughs> baby. To keep a promise made to her means breaking the promise made to her. <laughs> this is a tricky situation indeed. That's so cute. What the fuck? Curse you, Dan, for I am at work. What? I'm just playing Genshin. Dwog. I'm not even gonna be playing that long. I'm already getting sleepy. Also, you work on Saturdays? You poor bastard. Uh, huh? Uh, what is it? 
Is there something on my face? In a way, I suppose I am. Oh, I have no idea what to do about my thesis. Uh, anyway, I'm Layla, a Rital his student at the academia. Oh, for now, at least. I was just looking up some information at the house of Dana. But the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis lacks integrity. I didn't cover many of the possible outliers and... My calculations are imprecise enough. I should have been done with the first... Well, but... Uh, I should probably need to be honest. I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh. If it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the darshan. If that was the case, I would have already left on my own. Mm, just the idea of being watched by a sage is terrifying. Ah, oh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Ooh, due to my lack of sleep, yeah. But, uh, my hope at that I really, maybe the stars above this. Uh, but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts. Improving. Oh no. Oh, I s yes, but the wisdom seek. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is. Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the wisdom sealy. But getting an answer all comes down to the sealy's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher would... Uh, all I can do right now... Uh, I'm trying my luck. Hmm... You're right. I need to keep a level head. Uh, I don't have time to waste. But... What do we do from here? I can't just rest. But my deadline's just around the corner. Uh, you do have a point. Oh, sorry. I tend to panic easily, as you can see. Then how should I rest? I definitely won't be able to <laughs> sleep. Puspa, the Puspa Cafe. As soon as I close my eye, oh, that's a good idea. A cup of coffee might help clear my head. A cup of coffee. down here and have some coffee and sweets it'll help me put my thoughts together uh, no we're here to rest my problems will have to wait for now oh hey Layla uh, huh I'm one of Layla's classmates I just came by to say hi Why do you look mad <laughs> we just submitted our theses and we are totally beat everyone will be meeting here to celebrate Seeing how relaxed you look, you must have already had your thesis finished ages ago. Oh, no, I... I'm actually having a lot... 
lot of trouble with it. You say that every time we talk, but you've never missed a deadline. Not only that, your papers are always well-written and thorough. Your advisor is constantly praising your work. Yet you're always going around saying stuff like, I can't make it, I don't understand, I'm super worried. That kind of talk doesn't reflect your work at all, you know. Well, uh, I... <sighs> For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group at all. It's one thing that she's not willing to help us, but she doesn't even bother showing up for our discussion meetings. Every time we come to see her, she looks out of sorts and on the verge of a breakdown. It's not like we can't finish our own theses without her, but no one wants to always see her this way. Uh, I know, I know. Sorry. Oh, baby. <laughs> Whatever, there's no point in starting an argument here. Your baby. If you think she can justify her behavior, then that's your opinion. <laughs> uh, thanks for standing up for me. I really want to help the others, but most of the time I'm barely scraping by myself. There's very little I can help with. Yeah, I can't ever tell my classmates about that. I'd be a mess if they ever reported it to my advisor. It's really just a big misunderstanding, and there's nothing I can do about it. Everyone just gives me weird looks and judges me. It's making it really difficult to find friends. It's actually pretty rare for someone to actively engage in a conversation with me, uh, like you do. Uh, Huh? What do you mean? Huh, yeah, that's exactly it. Seems you know just as well as I do. The thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. Uh, face it head on? Wh what should I do? Do you really think I can? Uh, oh, okay. I've got a pen and paper with me. Let me go through them real quick. Hmm... The theory sections are pretty much finished. I'll be able to finish organizing the rest of my own. Uh, as of now, I'm missing crucial observation data. I need the results of an observation to validate the conclusion of my th And then there's the preparation for my thesis defense. Uh, I'll need to mentally prepare. Mentally prepare. What? Of course. You want to help me with my thesis? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to show you my gratitude. Just just hold me. That that'll be that'll be great. Just just hold me, Layla. It's okay, baby. It's okay. You are precious and you must be taken care of. Oh, you're so kind. I had no idea I'd meet someone so nice in Sumeru City. Uh, okay, I'll do my best. It's the least I can do, considering everything you've already done for me. Uh, first on the list is the experiment to get observational data. I actually had it all planned out several days ago, and even borrowed a celestial globe from a Mahamata. However, the weather was rainy every single day after I borrowed it, and I was unable to compare the night sky against the celestial globe. There were a lot of people waiting to borrow the celestial globe, and I wasn't able to extend my time slot. So I returned it. That's why I still haven't performed the necessary observations yet. That's right. The celestial globe is a high-precision device used specifically for researching the stars. Submitting an application to borrow one from the academia is pretty much the only way for me to get my hands on one. Huh? Why the Adventurer's Guild? Oh, I see. 
The Adventurer's Guild is open to everyone's commission, so she might have some ideas. Okay, uh, let's go and try our luck. It's like deceptively long or like I don't know what's the right word like these hangouts look short there's only like six endings but like each of them Ad takes so much time welcome to the adventurers guild how can I help you today uh, I'd like to uh, I have a commission uh, it's kind of strange <laughs> right equipment at the academia is in very high demand and we aren't able to borrow one now. We were hoping someone else might have something similar that we could use. I don't know anything about astrology, so I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with the device you were looking for. However, one of our requesters happens to be an astrology enthusiast. I hear that he's a collector of all sorts of specialized astrology equipment. After the Adventurers Guild helped him out, he indicated that he'd be happy to return the favor if the adventurers ever need it. Perhaps we could arrange a meeting between you two. That should help solve your problem. R really? You're welcome. It's my job to provide adventurers with the necessary support. The man's name is Azam. Here is his address. You can go ahead and pay him a visit. Yes, I am. How may I help you? Ah, I see. Well, if it's a request from an adventurer, then I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> I just so happen to have the device that you're looking for. Let me fetch it and show you, just to be sure. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just got a little excited. Uh, uh, please go ahead. Hmm. To be honest, judging by what stands before me, I find it very hard to believe that you're an astute Ritalahez student. Uh, well... Astrology is a hobby of mine, and these devices have cost me both time and Mora to collect. I cherish them as if they were members of my own family. Which is why I don't let just anyone borrow them on a whim. These devices are delicate, and can easily be damaged if used inappropriately. Oh, th that's completely understandable. Uh, what can I do to better gain your trust? How about this? I don't need a deposit or anything, but I'd like you to share the contents of your research with me. I'll ask you some questions. If your explanation proves satisfactory, then I'll lend you the device. To share the contents of my research and answer questions? Uh... <sighs> Alright, I'll try. But I can't disclose the actual details to you. Uh, how about a general overview of the research? Uh, would that suffice? Yes, that would be fine. You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future, as well as attempt to summarize the correlating principles, correct? Mm-hmm, of course. This is the basic principle of astrology. Ahem. <clears throat> My current research is about a certain phenomenon called astral shift. Interesting. That's not a topic any ordinary person would be familiar with. I have a basic understanding of the concept, but I'd like to hear you explain it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, in 
short, it means that the results derived from astrology are prone to change. As time continues to flow, the stars change and everything else becomes affected by this change. However, what's actually driving the change is what's worth investigating. I think that it might just be another law of nature. If the changes follow a certain pattern or routine, then it could be explained as some law. But the changes are manifold. Even if you take a shit in the astral plane, do you call it an astral sky. shit? The changes could yes. be resulting from a yes, you would, sis. I see you're an. You're also a astrologist. Lopin Gussie is an astrologist too. Oh my god, I had no idea. On astrological conclusions. Uh, what I'm working on now is the research and prediction of the triple orbit shift phenomenon. And because he knows all. Triple orbit? By yourself? Uh, yes. Uh, that's right. You do know that adding an extra star to the equation increases the computational workload by more than tenfold, right? Uh, it does get a little complicated. But it's still manageable with the use of a few self-invented techniques and a large number of star logs and star charts. <sighs> Which leads us to why I'm in need of a high-precision celestial globe. Hmm. <laughs> Amazing. I suppose I should never have judged a book by its cover. I thought you were just trying to half-heartedly deal with some school assignment. Do I really look like that sort of person? Oh, <laughs> baby, worry. please. I'm baby. just joking. <laughs> I was a little cautious at first, but now I trust you completely. I just, I just want to give her a big old hug happy. and just say everything's going to be fine and give her head pats. Achieving tangible results. Just make sure you return it to me once you're done. Oh, thank you so much. I really needed this. <sighs> Good thing Azam was willing to hear me out. Really? I was just explaining what it You just want to you, you wear earplugs when she talks? It's not because you don't like her voice, it's because she's putting you to bed, huh? <laughs> she's just putting you to sleep, that's the only reason. It's not that she sounds, like, bad or anything, huh? Happy to hear that. I guess even the hardest problems can be solved as long as I'm willing to try. Recording and comparing data will be much easier now that we have this device. I can do it all on my own too. Let's continue with the. I feel like it would be used against me in the law of court. <laughs> what in the court of Fontaine? We can do that at the house of Dina. In the court of Fontaine, you're gonna go to the big. Orchestral courtroom in Fontaine. Pengosi, you are here on trial because you your opinion on waifus is trash. How do you plea? <laughs> your Honor, we find uh the defendant, the Bengusi, guilty of all charges for having shit taste. <laughs> I only know of wife. Oh, that's right. right. Shy, Shy Lily is your only wife, whom that's right. And you, and you're like your wife who's just fucking batshit insane. Got it. <laughs> batshit insane and lewd as shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can't you can't you can't run from the truth sis i know it's okay i've seen it this seems like the best spot to do this we'll need to be quiet so we don't disturb anyone so here's what will happen during my thesis defense after I present my thesis, the advisor sitting below will begin to ask questions. Theoretically, I should be able to answer any questions related to my thesis. 
However, I tend to get really nervous when my advisors look at me, and I end up completely forgetting what I plan to say. <sighs> That's why I want to rehearse and practice presenting my points in front of someone. <sighs> That's right. You should have gotten the gist of the content in my thesis when I was explaining it earlier. So, ask away. It's okay if your questions are a little off. I'll still treat them as real questions from an advisor and answer seriously. <sighs> Wait a moment! <sighs> Alright, Layla, you got this. You were able to explain everything earlier, so you can do it again. Alright, ask away. Uh, sure. The direction of this research is based on the results of previous research. It's about the feasibility of applying my methodologies to the remaining triple orbit problems. Um, uh, based on a sample size of 124 cases, we could only achieve approximately 60% accuracy. The results were not reliable enough to be implemented as a law. You can see the common traits of the erroneous samples on page 3. Uh, excuse me, I mean from the star logs in the appendix. It's clear that in each of the erroneous samples, one of the stars underwent a significant shift. This means that... Uh, we not only need to limit the number of stars, but we may also need to consider the degree of shift when applying triple orbit shift algorithms. Stars with greater shifts are often key in astrology readings. The next step of the research should be... Uh, uh, the next step should be to identify the feasible thresholds of shift for applying our calculations. And that's my answer to your question. <sighs> We're finally done. I'm gonna need more practice. I can feel myself getting flustered, and I start to stumble whenever I'm asked questions that I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, really? You mean it? Hmm. Then this practice must be helping. During my first thesis defense, I stood like a statue on the stage and my palms were covered in sweat. I couldn't get a single word out. I didn't even realize it, but you're right. It doesn't seem like there's anything holding me back now. I guess that means I'm capable of completing the thesis all on my own. I can hardly believe it. This is amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm really excited. This is the first time this has happened, really. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to put this. I'm really happy about everything that's happened, but I'm also feeling a little sad. I still don't know anything about the blessing from the stars. Will it never happen again since I don't need its help anymore? <sighs> that somehow makes me feel a little... lonely. Yeah, it almost makes the blessing feel like it was just a tool used for my studies, no? But I would really like to discover what the blessing actually is, if I ever get the chance. Uh, I want to express my gratitude for it, or better yet, Maybe we could be friends. That's basically how I feel about it. Even if I know nothing about the blessing, I could still feel its companionship all along. It's almost like how you help me. I really cherish and appreciate it. After all, it wouldn't be right to take such blessings for granted in our lives. That's good. I hope it's a little more satisfied with the way I am now. <laughs> oh, look at her. <laughs> Natural yet incredible. The unfolding of events will be etched in her memories for a long time to come. That's cute. Okay, what? Oh, okay. Wait, what? There's a branch right there? 
Hot damn, now I'm interested. <laughs> wait, 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 so... There's a branch that goes this way? So wait, if I go back here, the other dialogue goes to another ending? Hang on. Hang on. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. This seems like the best, so here theoretically, however, uh, that's why I want, uh, it's okay if your questions, but, oh, all right. Do you know about the, the great machine? Astrological effects are entirely different. We need to consider how the effects offset and, um... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not very knowledgeable in that area. And that's my answer to your question. Do... do... Oh, or I'm gonna need more practice. Oh, it... Hmm... Then as I did need, I guess I can hurt. Oh, I'm so. Uh, uh, I still don't know. Huh. That's yeah. But I would. That's it's almost like how you help. That's good. Oh, that's the same outcome. Then what is it? What gets here? Do I have to go this way and go there? No, but it's branching from this line. Interesting. Okay, we'll just go here. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's that optional question. Hmm. We'll try it again. We'll try it again after this one. Is a hobby of mine, and these devices have caused. So what is this ending that we that she uh, fails? Uh, How about this? If your ex. Uh, all right, I'll try. Yes, that. You're probably. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Interesting. Uh, oh, as time. I think that it might. If the change, the changes could be resulting. From what reward do you get for all the options and things in sequence? Oh, you just get like a uh, bunch of materials, orbit. premium uh, currency, shit like that. Uh, it, uh, which leads. Hmm. <laughs> oh, do I? <laughs> no, it would make me ex just make. Uh, good, really? Uh, really? I guess. Recording. Let's continue. I don't think I went the branching past right past right there. Let's see. Hang on. Yeah, no, we didn't go the right way. Hmm, we did not choose the right thing. Yes. Fellow astrology dude. Oh yes. I do like seeing the moons out in space. Is a hobby of mine. The ass and in space. These devices have cost me both time, which is why. Oh. Uh, How about th if your ex? <laughs> okay, maybe it's this one. Uh, you're, you're starting to make me feel. I'm sorry. I. Oh, oh, she she switches right there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's that's how we get the other one. We need her to switch. We need her to panic and switch. Uh, I'm okay. My mind just decided to stray elsewhere for a moment. Give me a second to gather myself. Uh Correct. I was about to test you with a few questions, but you suddenly started looking very uncomfortable. You've got a uh, split I personality, man. I don't sleep very well, so I tend to get a little dizzy from time to time. I'm fine now. Hmm. She seems a little different all of a sudden. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I see. 
Well then, can you briefly summarize your area of research for me? With pleasure. I'll give you a general overview. <clears throat> You're probably aware that astrologists rely on the movements of the celestial bodies to calculate the past and the future. Due to the difficulty of designing an experiment and the challenges of validating theories about the past, astrological research is usually based on an immense foundation of experience. And therein lies the largest complexity. Derived and validated conclusions may vary due to subtle changes caused by the flow of time and shifts in the stars. Ah, I've heard about this before. One of the most classic challenges is to use three stars with shifting orbits to predict the overall changes that may have occurred. Ah, are you referring to the triple orbit problem? Yes, that really is a classic problem, and a very difficult one to tackle. I came up with a set of prediction methods that encompass more than half of the triple orbit problems. However, there are quite a few limitations and requirements. This set of methods is already being put into practice at the Ritawahis Darshan by my advisor, drastically simplifying the difficulty of calculations involved in the triple orbit problem. Yes, I've heard about that. The announcement made big waves in the astrology enthusiast community. So, you were the one who came up with that? <laughs> you mustn't judge a book by its cover, you know. The thesis I'm working on this time aims to address the remaining triple orbit problems, as well as eliminate a portion of the methodology's limitations, which will make it easier to use. I see. In that case, perhaps there's no one more fitting to operate this device than you. I just keep it as part of a collection, and I can't use it to its full potential like you can. Thank you for understanding. I'll return it in perfect working order once I'm finished with it. Okay, oh my we God. should be going now. So we're gonna have other Layla uh, talk to this all time. What do plan to do after this? You aren't I, Layla, are you? I, huh? What makes you say that? Is there something off about me? Uh, fine. Looks like I can't keep the act up any longer. I even tried to look a little panicky to emulate her behavior. <laughs> I suppose that is what she's been calling me. With her long-term sleep deprivation, whenever her anxiety peaks, she loses consciousness and I take over. However, her unpredictable and variable sleep patterns are completely out of my control, so I have to make every second count. There's no one willing to help her here, so I have to step in. Hmm... I am rather curious about you, though. Why are you trying to help her? Because she's pretty. <laughs> really? That's great. You're helping with all the things that I used to do for her. Seems like you've given her a boost of confidence with your encouragement. She's only steps away from the finish line. Ah, she's already made a lot of progress, so there's no need to push too hard now. Anyway, what's the plan from here? I see. Well, it wouldn't be of any help if I practiced for her, but I'll leave some notes that should come in handy. Come on, let's go back to the house of Dana to make preparations. We'll have to tell her later when she wakes up. Yeah, like I thought, we have to force her to to shift so that <laughs> so that you get the other ending because it's the other her I'm like oh i get it Okay, I should get started on those notes. 
If there's anything you're curious about, you may go ahead and ask now. I can answer you as I write. <laughs> I'm used to multitasking. Oh, and I have to ask a favor. When you give the note, hmm. Well, she's always been in a fragile state. If she knew that there was another Layla who's always taking care of everything, she might feel like everything she's ever worked for is pointless, and that could lead to some demoralizing thoughts. She's a resilient girl, but no matter how resilient she may be, no one can hold up to criticism and torment from themselves. If her condition grows any worse, it's possible that I might cease to exist as well. Then there wouldn't be anyone to help her. She's getting better though, isn't she? It's apparent how hard she's working now. She's my source of knowledge. I'm merely the representation of how she would be if she were rested and healthy. If she were rested and healthy. I believe that she's one of the best. Even in a place like the Academia where geniuses come by the handful. But growth is a process and shouldn't be rushed. I will always believe in and support her. <laughs> believe me. Even if she were to end up at rock bottom, she'd find a way to somehow laugh it off as one of her silly mistakes and climb her way out. That's the kind of person she is. <sighs> Alright, I've written down all the possible questions that I think the advisors might ask. Next, I'll put together a few words of encouragement for her. I'm not going to sign it, obviously. Oh, and don't forget about our agreement. Oh, that's cute. What the fuck? They will never meet, but she will always walk alongside her. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Oh, okay. So you can get it from this way, but it also is... Okay, got it. Alright, only one ending left, and then uh, we'll probably call it. These things, these fucking hangouts are kind of long. That's why I only like do one of them a stream. It takes like the whole two hours and something just to get through one of them. And there's still plenty of hangouts to do. So like, anytime I'm feeling bored, I can just do one. Let's sit down here and have some coffee and sweets. Uh, no. Oh, hey, Layla. Uh, huh? I'm one of Layla's classmates. I just came by to say hi. We just submitted our seeing how relaxed. Oh. You say that, F yet you're always going around. Well, uh. For starters, she doesn't even try to participate with the group. Every time we come, it's not like we can't finish. Uh, I know, I know. Whatever, there's no point. If you think she can justify. Uh, I really want to help the up. Yeah, it's real. It's actually. Uh, huh? What do you. Uh, yeah. That's. Ex the thing is, I'm terrible under pressure. That's just my nature. Even the thought of everyone's expectations back home is enough to make me feel nervous. And the more nervous I get, the worse things become around me. Take what Munira just said, for example. I don't think I'll be able to get it out of my mind for the entire day. That means I won't be able to relax at all today. C completely relaxed? But we're at a cafe. Is this not relaxing enough? I know, I know, but... <sighs> Alright, no more buts. My life is a mess because of the decisions I've made for myself. I should listen to your advice this time. <sighs> How do I completely relax? The sightseeing. Hmm, that does sound pretty nice. <sighs> I haven't set foot outside the academia in quite a while. I used to enjoy visiting the rainforest, but it's been a while since I've been there. Maybe a lot has changed. <sighs> okay, why don't we go there and take a look?
wanna forget about the thesis altogether. Uh, I'm just kidding. Knowing me, I'd only be able to forget about it for a little while. Uh, this doesn't count as trying to avoid my problems, does it? That's quite the legitimate excuse. Hmm. Uh, no, it's more of an explanation. <laughs> Even I'm starting to get bolder with my words. I grew up in a place like this, looking into the distance now with the breeze in my face makes me feel like a kid again. Oh, those were the happiest days. Hmm. I had a bunch of friends back then, and we would go pick wild berries in the woods. No matter what ingredients we found, we would cook them over a fire and whoever lost one of our games would have to eat all of it. No, it wasn't that bad. It really depended on how lucky you were. Grilled apples and sunsetias are actually quite delicious. Uh, sure. I haven't done that in ages. Uh, let's go. Uh, apples and zaytun peaches were the most popular fruits back then. Oh, and of course, grilled fish is delicious too. A fish skin releases oils while cooking, which drip into the fire and cause it to burn even brighter. by the grown-ups if they caught us sneaking into the river to catch fish. What's the big deal? We just want to swim. That's what we used to say. But now that I think about it, it really was quite dangerous. Uh, uh, thank goodness nothing bad ever happened. I think we found enough These should be enough. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh ingredients. They already smell delicious. I'll be here cleaning the ingredients. Can you please fetch some firewood for us? Shin Impact dies of cringe. And I'm about to finish actually. I'm just doing a little hangout. Mm, fresh food is the best. I feel like I've traveled back in time. We all used to run around in the woods when we were kids. Trees and mud was the world we knew best. It doesn't matter how long I'm away from the forest, I won't ever forget the feeling of running through the trees. Oh, uh, how about you? Can you relate to that feeling? It's almost like not knowing the world will change or ever expecting it to change. Whatever the case, it's a very warm feeling. In the end, I passed the admissions exam and the life I had led came to an abrupt end. Later, as I sat in a lecture at the academia, my mind started to wander and I began to think about home. It was then that I realized how long it had been since I went back. Ah, I can't go back anymore. And other similar thoughts started to come to mind. Ah, 
I guess I'm still not used to being in the academia yet. Ah, uh, you're right. So we should let go of the past. I suppose this is also part of growing up. Hmm. But reminiscing about the carefree life of being a kid sure works wonders for the mind. <sighs> you start missing those moments once you leave them behind. And that's part of moving forward. Uh, from now on, I'd like to cherish every single day of my life. Even when it's not the smoothest of rides. <laughs> uh, I'll take the compliment. A little bit of sugar and a good view really go a long way. Oh my gosh, she's gonna make me yawn again. I thought it oh, she's gonna make me yawn again, I swear. To enjoy something like this. Uh, I thought I'd never be able to get my mind off my thesis. But now, I feel like I'm fully enjoying myself. It's really great. So, what are we doing next? You're right. I've been doing research for so long that I'm used to having a certain routine. A carefree stroll. Huh. I like the sound of that. a large lake here oh, it's so beautiful oh my god feeling of cool lake water what do you mean chief what do you mean all your troubles it's just Layla can you <laughs> wait for a minute I'd like to wash my face I think it'd be refreshing uh, huh a swim I can't remember the last time I went swimming I might not even know how to anymore. Uh, I've forgotten how to swim. Don't worry, Layla. It's happened um, to me too. Okay. I'll try to swim over there. Wait. No, no, no. I'll definitely lose. Uh, no. Forget about winning or losing. Okay, no! Not, not the sphere! <laughs> Oh, you can't switch. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch to her. <laughs> it's just, it's Layla, all the sexy. <laughs> She's just the, the sleepy, lazy waifu. N nothing... Nothing bad here. something like this uh, really <laughs> among my childhood friends i was considered one of the more athletic ones but that's just like how i used to think say it back then <laughs> <for learning. After laughs> city, i realized that i only thought that because sleepy long-haired blue no it's sleepy long blue-haired waifus yeah Who also has a split personality. And uh, even when she falls asleep, she's still awake. Amazing. Please, you're always encouraging me. I'm starting to feel embarrassed. But swimming again really feels great. Every muscle in my body. I can fix her, right, Chief? I can fix her. I can fix her. about my thesis if I turned into a fish, don't you think? I'm just kidding, of course. I'm sure fish have worries of their own. I'm quite content with how things are right now. Let's keep going, shall we? There's more. Oh, 
fix so I can make them worse. Do you want to jump on it to see what's up there? I see, I see. Uh, I haven't done this in a while. I kind of want to give it a try. Oh, this is a wittering spot I haven't done yet. <laughs> and... actually can be. Ah, uh, you're right. No matter how much of a hard time I'm having in academics, I should still find the time to look after myself and fulfill my needs. You really understand more about life than I do. Release my stress? Oh my god, release your stress. Oh you my god. Being at the top of a oh my god, it's happening. Makes someone want to yell out loud. Oh my uh, god, at the top of a mountain. So release all your stress. Here you go. Isn't it? It's gonna it's gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll give it a try. Just promise not to laugh, okay? Is he gonna do the thing? <laughs> ah, <laughs> Just Tower Fantasy has gun waifus, so you know, I can understand why Chief would have a preference. To that kind of stuff. We can also tell jokes about life or talk about anything you're interested in. Uh, okay, then I'll tell you more about me. The only reason I ever chose to study astrology is because of how beautiful the stars are at night. Uh, that's all. My teacher told me that nature possesses a certain power that grants people an equal amount of kindness. <laughs> Dummy take ex scientist mob wife who goes burr. <laughs> you know, fair enough. And that's why it I says he's not lying. <laughs> who's always helping me he's not lying. A blessing from the stars. <sighs> the stars in the sky are something that brings happiness to people. Uh, everything about home is filled with purity and passion. My memories of that place. Y'all just tempting me, tempting you. I never want to forget. What do you mean tempting you? Tempting you to do what? To, to play gotcha games? So pure, to to I lose yourself to gotcha waifus? I, I, you know, Chief's immediately gonna say, yeah, do it. There you go. Uh, immediately, no do it. No matter how tiring <laughs> or how hard it gets. I won't let my family down. They're already an important part of me. Yeah. Thank goodness you were there to help me out or I don't know where I would have ended up. <sighs> we probably still have a while until the stars come out. Ooh, all of the kids sit around like this. Waiting for the stars to appear. Oh, that's cute. 
I wonder if she's exhausted or if she's finally relaxed. Let's protect this precious moment just for a little while longer. Oh. Okay. And that is all of her roots. You get sure that on Twitch, oh my god. <laughs> There, there's, there's, there's all the, the things. Okay, we're done. So we've done both of hers, we've done his, we've done hers, and we have all of these other people to do at some point. At some point we'll do all the other ones. We're just gonna have to be doing them like one stream at a time. Because it's just so long. I mean, look, I just finished and that's basically two and a half hours. Where's the slugs? Oh, here, I'll, I'll take you to them. I'll, t I'll take you to show them. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you where they are. Here, this is where all the... All the slug people live. They, they all live down here. Hold the slug's hand. Pet the slug's head. Give cookies to the slug. <laughs> Give cookie. I I have done I have done their quest line, bad. I have done all of those things. I have I have done all of those things, Helm. No way, what? There's actually a thing over here. Hmm, <laughs> fixing Seymour! Oh my god, Seymour. Yeah, I, I, I went on a three-day side quest binge and completed all the quests in the game that I had. But there's still quite a bit I haven't, like, found. And I could look up a guide of, like, just where they are so I can just, like, grab them and do them. But, like, yeah, all the quests I had on my character, all the character quests I had, like, everything. All the Archon quests, I did them all, like, in three days. And that's how I got... The amount of fucking primo gems I have right now on my account. And we're saving all those primo gems for, uh... The... The dude with mechanical f ice fists that's gonna punch everything that comes out after the judge. Oh, is this a quest or not? I guess... Whatever. Anyways, if you wanna see, uh, Chief... We have 85 intertwined fates, just just from doing all that side quest binge in those uh, in those like three days. I mean, I've been doing dailies since then as well, but like those three three days primarily were all the primo gem that bought all of this. And I could get more if I just had you know dust, but I don't have dust, so I'm shit out of luck there. And the point is though. Uh, yeah, when the when the boy releases the boy I want, uh, we can guarantee him, one hundred percent. Because uh, I also have. Um... Yeah, actually, I can show you right here. So the last five star I got, right? I uh, it lost the fifty fifty. And I got a Tainari. So there you go. Uh, Six by five, that's 30, 31 pulls. There's, so there's 31 towards next pity, and it's a guarantee. And I have 85. So we can guarantee him, and then we'll see what weapon that comes out. We'll try and get it, and that's the plan. Just to get the guy in his weapon. All the world holds dear is but yeah. but a backdrop of constant motion. Um, 
Eyes I'm probably gonna get up now because I need to eat. I haven't eaten, and it's like more than the afternoon. I haven't figured out shit. I just kind of got on and said, "Fuck it, I'll just do a, a whole character quest and figure it out from there." And I'm like, "Oh, I have no plan after that." Oh well. I could go get a pizza pie. I could do that. Anyways. The Little Caesar thing? What Little Caesar thing? The new pizza they made. Wait, they have a new pizza? Oh, I have to go look. I'll have to go check that out. It's like four calzones stuck together. What the fuck? That's so weird. Is mod back? Okay, we'll go raid mod. Because, you know. Why doesn't that command work anymore? Man, I gotta go fix that. I'm too busy raiding Berkeley. <laughs> yeah, Berkeley, I'm done. I, I did the character quest. I've been on for two and a half hours. I need to go eat. Sorry. I'm coming to kill you! Okay. Alright. Alright, thanks for hanging out, sis. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, so, sometimes I just do a random one and we just, we just do it. Fuck it. I have time. But now I'm gonna go eat, go rest up, go do other shit. Catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.